Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and uh, so recently Garmin released this uh, an, an eSports edition of their InSync, uh, InSync uh, smartwatch so one of its main uh, trick gimmick is that oh you can do game stream integration mainly, mainly in the sense that you, the watch can broadcast its heart rate as Bluetooth to an application and then well you know if you're a streamer you you are whatever you can then uh, overlay your heart rate information along with some other metrics the whole body battery and stress thing and uh, you can use it in OBS so it's an alternative to other heart rate monitors of course the the watch itself is definitely much more expensive than a simple bluetooth get heart rate monitor but uh, i mean it might be more convenient for some people because it's just a watch that that uh it's just a watch instead of a strap that you have to put on and take off and uh, you would ha always be wearing the watch all the time anyway. Uh, so, the interesting thing here is that this Instinct is actually an existing Garmin line of, uh, of smart watches. And actually, on in the version 11 update of the Garmin, Garmin smartwatch firmware, it specifically says that, that they enabled N and Bluetooth uh, broadcast of your heart rate information. So that means you don't actually need to get the eSports edition if all you want is to broadcast the heart rate, the, your heart rate using Bluetooth. Yeah, so if you already own an older uh, Garmin Instinct, just like what I have here, that's a non-eSports edition, and you have updated the firmware to 11, What you can do is, you can now go into the heart rate page, hold down to your settings button, then we're going to go and do broadcast, Oop, uh, we're going to go into settings, here we go, heart rate options, and then we are just going to go to broadcast heart rate, and then I'm going to just go start. So now it's broadcasting, it's broadcasting the heart rate, my heart rate via Bluetooth. And I can just come to any, so anything that uses uh, Bluetooth will work. I just, this is a simple web page that your brow, your modern internet browsers can actually pair to Bluetooth devices. So if I, so here, I'm gonna pair to the my watch, so it's an instant APEC version. Then we pair, give it a few seconds. Oh, okay. I think it still broadcasts about like one or two seconds off, but well, if all you want is just to get your heart rate on stream, it's definitely not like a, it's a medical device or anything. Okay, so cool, I guess, because if you if you have an existing Garmin Insane and you want to use it via Bluetooth now, you can. You don't need to go out and buy the newer eSports editions, which is, yeah, I think, the newer eSports edition is supposedly, in this case, is cheaper. But right now, like in Malaysia, what I see is that the normal instincts, they are very heavily discounted from their, from their existing prices. Hmm. Actually, I think the 
the new price for the instinct in Malaysia is no, 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 no. This would be, this would be uh, a few thousand ring. Nah, the new price for the normal instincts are cheap, even cheaper than this. Yeah. So if you want to, so that's just a quick guide to using the normal Garmin instincts uh, for to broadcast your heart rate using Bluetooth. Now, okay, I just want to rant a little. Okay, so you can see here that my watch is the Instinct APEC. So APEC basically stands for Asia Pacific. So it's the APEC version. And actually this uh, version 11 firmware has been out for, I think they released it in around October, end of the October. And I only just, and my watch only just received the update like about a few days ago when i asked around on the garmin forums they were like oh yeah the 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 firmware for for apec comes out much later than the normal us firmware which i don't understand why that's even an issue <laughs> it's just a firmware but <laughs> okay whatever the main thing is if you have the if you have the APEC edition of the watch, the firmware comes out later. So it's like more than a month later. And uh, you might not even get yeah, so so hopefully um I don't even know what the other regions uh version of the are, but the main thing is remember you need a version eleven on your insane watch enable in order to do this. Okay? So uh this is Marauders here, that was just a quick video about the this Garmin Insync Bluetooth uh, heart rate broadcast and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.